this is a Fox News alert. Tensions are flaring in the standoff between Nevada rancher Cliven Bundy and the federal government over the ranchers' cattle grazing on public land. In a moment, Cliven and his son, they're going to join us to explain the situation. But first, the showdown escalated on Wednesday when Bundy's supporters confronted the heavily armed federal officials with guns and tasers. Now, according to the Bundy family members, an elderly woman was thrown to the ground. Another protester, the son of Mr. Bundy, was tased three times. And joining me now with the very latest on the standoff, Fox's own William Lajeunesse tonight. William. Well, Sean Bundy promised a range war, and that is what he is getting. Militia showing up from around the country to confront agents with the Federal Bureau of Land Management, which claims that Bundy in 1994 lost his right to graze cattle in an area about 80 miles north of Las Vegas when the feds declared it a habitat for the endangered desert tortoise, making it off limits to cattle. Since then, Bundy defied two court orders to remove some 900 head of cattle. The feds say he is trespassing and failing to pay up to a million dollars in grazing fees. Bundy's son sees it differently. Yesterday we seen him throw a, uh, uh, an elderly woman to the ground and, uh, and tased uh, another protester three times. The tortoise thing has been a scapegoat from day one. The tortoise is not endangered. How will all of this end? Yeah. Hopefully peacefully. Um, it will end with we the people prevailing. Federal agents arrested Dave Bundy for interfering with the roundup. On Wednesday, they used tasers and guard dogs against protesters. Eamon Bundy shot with a stun gun. His sister tackled to the ground. Right or wrong to Bundy supporters, the fight now isn't just about the law, but how it's being enforced. This isn't about turtles. Uh, this isn't about grazing rights or cattle. This, this is about government control. We're in the hill. Did they get to authority? Put snipers on that damn hill and pull down on people just like standing over there. And if they cross the imaginary line, do they have orders to shoot? It's unreal. And myself being a veteran, you know, that, that's not what I fought for this country for. Our militia from around the country are traveling to the ranch to support the family. Police cited two from Utah Thursday for interfering with the federal removal operation. Now, the Bundys asked militia members not to wear military fatigues or to carry their weapons. Of course, the fear, Sean, is that someone is going to use this roundup as an opportunity to provoke violence with the feds. So far, we believe they have seized about half his herd. Governor Brian Sandoval is urging restraint, and the local sheriff has not intervened. Sean. All right, William, thanks so much for that report. Now we're going to continue to hope for a peaceful resolution of the standoff. Back with us tonight is the man in the middle of all of this, Nevada rancher Cliven Bundy, who was kind enough to give our team of producers an exclusive tour of the property in question today. And he's also joined by his son, Ammon. And thank you both for being here. Ammon, let me start with you. I understand you were tased three times as well, right? That's correct. All right, we, we, we got to start here. Can you hear me, Sean? Yeah, I can, I can hear you fine. Can you hear me? Oh. Okay, yes, I can hear you good. All right, the worst words in the English language. Can you hear me now? Uh, uh, let me, let's go back. How, let's start at the present moment. We've got, what, 200 agents, Cliven, surrounding your ranch at this present moment, and they're taking your cattle more, more and more every day. Is that where we are at this moment? Yes, that's where you're at. We're, uh, uh, there at least 200 armed uh, agents and they're uh, with high-powered uh, uh, telescopes and uh, snipers. In other words, a full dress of armor. Uh, and they're out here, per, you know, uh, hassling us people. We the people of Clark County, Nevada. Yeah. All right. So l let me just make sure. So you got all these agents surrounding. That how you have what 500 head of cattle, and they've taken what close to 300 of them by now. Yes, that's what I. Uh, that's about a, that's about the number I understand. They've got a lot of them. Okay. And, and they're taking these cows off, off their natural habitat and putting them in a crail to sell, I guess. And how long has your family been on this ranch, and how long have those cattle been out there grazing on? By the way, this is not federal land, is it? This is state land? This is uh, Clark County, Nevada, state land. Right. How long, how long has your family been out there, and how long have your cattle been out there grazing over the years? It goes back to the 1800s, right? Yes, 1877, uh, my uh, grandfather's pulled into this valley with a wagon and a team of horses. All right, now, th th this all started, Ammon, maybe we'll, we'll bring you into this. This all started because they said we have this endangered 
desert tortoise. Now, it's turned into a lot, a lot bigger issue than that. Um, didn't they build a refuge for the tortoise? Yes, they have a refuge in Las Vegas, Nevada, where, where they uh, have collected so many tortoises that they have to euthanize them. So the, the federal government that said that this whole thing supposedly started over the desert tortoise, we got a picture on our screen right now, and the federal government, in other words, they're thriving so well that they're actually killing some of them. Would the cattle ever hurt them in any way? Is the cattle ever get in the way of... of no. Explain. When I was young, we did a... When I was young, we did an actual test to prove this. We put a rock about the size of a turtle uh, in, the, in the gateway of a corral and ran about 100 head of cattle through it, and not one cow stepped on the rock. All right. Here's, they, do, they do not step on turtles. Here's my big worry here, because things are getting very hostile. You got tased. The woman got thrown to the ground. You've got more and more protesters coming out there to support you guys. What is, what is it about this moment? And I understand that there's a dispute, and I understand that you, you, you did lose the court case. What is it about this piece of land when we have so many problems with drugs and criminals and pedophiles? Um, the country has a lot of problems. Why have they decided to fight for this piece of land? Is there something they want to do with it? Is there, do they really believe the desert tortoise is in jeopardy? Why would they, I guess, initiate this type of confrontation that could end ugly at this moment, I'm trying to understand what their thinking is. Do either of you know? Let, let me try to explain it. Uh, <clears throat> they want uh, total uh, unlimited power over the people of the United States. They want this land, and they, it's not the land as much as they want the power. They want uh, uh, policing power, and they want uh, what they've done here is they've neutralized our. Uh, uh, state of Nevada governor and neutralized our county sheriff and now they were going to take care of Bundy's cattle which I have invested interest on this land and if they can get rid of me then they take all the rest of the rights of we the people yeah. and this and is and this is and state and property it's a forced thing and you're saying that they have yes, no right to be we, there where's the governor no no they do not have no right to be here not the United States the governor has the total say here he can pull us make a stop to this right now and they should be that's what the governor should be doing saying get out of here federal government this is nevada state right now you you got some support from some guys in utah one of the one of the commissioners in utah and your local your local i guess committee man or the guy in your neighborhood clark county commissioner he actually raised the stakes by saying if these guys, these ranchers that want to come out from Utah and support you in solidarity, he called them, quote, inbred bastards, and that if they come to Clark County to support you, they better have funeral plans. Why would a government official or county commissioner ever say that? Well, I guess we elected him, so we have to put up with him. Yeah, and, and by that the way... That is a shame, though. That is... Yeah. That is a shame. There's no doubt about it. And what is this? I thought America was a free speech zone. So the Bureau of Land Management set up only one area where people are allowed free speech. I thought that was a, I thought that was a constitutionally protected right. Am I wrong there, Ammon? Absolutely. You and I both know that that's protected. Let me just give you a little background on that too. There was rules to that amendment uh, box too. So it was about a, a 200 by 200 uh, uh, square box. They said, this is your First Amendment right. They had rules on it that you can only have 25 people in at a time. They actually set up two of them, and you're, you were only allowed to protest them one box at a time. So basically, that's saying that of all of America, you can only protest there, and there can only be 25 of you at one time. You know what? In, from my perspective, guys, I'm looking at it this way. This is not... I am having a hard time understanding why the government would create a confrontation like this on land that they don't even want want for a turtle that doesn't apparently need protection, that the cattle are not going to hurt. Uh, I understand their dispute with you, but this, is, this does not seem the right way to handle it. It seems like this is brewing into a, people are being tased and now being hit and beaten. And this, it seems like we got to defuse this. I, um, is there anything that you can think of that might help defuse this? Would you be willing to sit down with these guys Sean, and talk to them? No, no. Sean, you, you've got to rely, re, remember, I challenge the, the, those, their authority and their policing power and their arresting power. I uh, uh, 
uh, challenge that, and they're challenging us back. I say that power belongs within the state and within the county, right. and they don't want to accept that. Well, and you said that, look, you're going to take this to the end. Look, I got to be honest. I'm worried about the encroachment of our federal government that spies us on Americans illegally. We now know we have an IRS that harasses, intimidates, tries to silence opposition voices. Uh, I'm worried about the lies that are told to us about the NSA, about the IRS, about, w about what happened in uh, Benghazi and, and the lies that sold health care. Uh, I'm, I'm concerned that the government is overreaching here and they're making a deal over some... I don't know why they're taking a stand here. Has anyone given you any information well, why? Well, well, Jean, it's either, it's either a couple things, but it's all the same problem. Uh, like my dad mentioned, when there's civil disobedience and your authority is questioned, if you want to maintain that authority, you have to stomp that out. And that's what's going on. It may be coupled with something on this land. Maybe they want it for some other reason. We'll find that out later uh, if, if we don't win this, this battle. But it's all the same problem. The origins are the same, and it's in every industry. It's in the, it's in the, uh, the food industry. It's in the guitar industry. It's in the mining industry, the oil industry, the ranching industry. And it is the federal government overstepping those it, bounds and not, not even, recognizing the state sovereignty. And it's all predicated on a turtle, a tortoise that apparently is not even endangered in reality. And I, I'll be honest, we saw what happened at, at Waco and the Branch Davidians. I'm concerned. Last question, guys. Uh, when you said, Cliven, that this is going to be a range war, those words were concerning to me. Um, what do you mean by that? Well, I mean we're going to do whatever it takes to uh, secure our li liberty and life and custom and cultures, and uh, we're going to stand up for state sovereignty, our constitution. That's what we're here for. Is to to make a stand. Yeah. We're going to be free in America. We're not going to fight the revolution or war over, I hope. I, I just don't want to see anybody lose their life over this. It's, this has gotten way out of control. They need to pull back here, and there's got to be another way to resolve this. It's, it's land that nobody... Well, they are. They need to pull back. They need to they pull are. back now. That's yeah. what... Uh, we got they, to put some perspective here. They are here. away. There's got to be proportionality they in life. They are away. Yeah, I agree with you. I think, I think this has gotten way out of control. Guys, thank you, and uh, stay safe. Appreciate you being with us. <laughs> thank you, Sean. Thank you, Sean. All right, and coming up more.